Hi, my name's Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my podcast, O79. I'd like to talk to you about a program called Dropbox. Now, Dropbox is an application you can get off the internet, and you can use it for Vectorworks file sharing. You can use it for sharing any files, really. But Steve is a friend of mine from Sully Hull in the UK, and he sent me a file the other day. I'm going to work group reference that into a um, to a project we're going to work on together. Steve's then going to update it at his end in, in the UK, and I'm living in New Zealand, and I'm going to update my workgroup reference and see the changes that Steve makes to this file. Steve, are you yeah. there? I'm here. Steve, I was just going to explain what Dropbox is. I've just got a, um, an icon on the, my screen at the moment. It's just a tiny little icon at the top of the screen that says Dropbox. I'm just going to click on that and show everybody what we've got. Now when you open up Dropbox, I don't know if you can see everybody, but it appears as a place in my Vectorworks. When I click on it, that's my, it appears just like regular folders. But in reality, those folders are stored on the internet. Here's a file that Steve sent me, and I'm going to work group reference that into a Vectorworks file. So here we are, I'm back in Vectorworks. This is Vectorworks 2008, which is what Steve's got. Remember, you've got to be using the same program. Let's create a new workgroup reference. So I've got a workgroup reference which means that I can create a design layer viewport. So let's create a viewport. And let's select our source which is the external document the existing reference and let's put that on our drawing and there it is so Steve I've now got your file workgroup referenced to my Vectorworks have you made an update okay. to that yeah do you want me to make a change to that yes please okay I'm changing the chair so I'll just go into the library and uh, change the uh, blue to a nice deep red that I quite like Exit the symbol. That's all changed the chairs on the top. And if I do file and save, now, just that's let me, saved. So let me understand this, Steve. You're actually saving it from your computer to the to the yes. Dropbox on the internet. Yes. Okay, so which means that you could actually store your files on the internet instead of on your local hard drive. Absolutely. This is this is a major breakthrough. Okay. Has it updated, I wonder? It usually takes about a minute or two to update, depending on the file size. Now, this is not a small file. Steve, this is a, what, three or four megabyte file? Yeah, it's two and a half meg. Okay, let me just see if it's updated yet. Now, I can't see what part you've changed, Steve. I'm not sure if it's updated yet. Yeah, it's the chairs on the top and the landing area on the um, on the ground floor. Oh, okay, sorry, they've all gone a deep red colour instead of being blue. Absolutely. And it was that quick. So this is a great technique, I reckon, for, for sharing, working across the, uh, well, Steve and I almost can't get further apart um, from each other. Any closer, any, if I got any further away from Steve, I'd, I'd be getting closer to him. So this is a fantastic <laughs> technique for working across uh, geographical distances or time zones. But I thought it was really neat, the idea that I could work group reference Steve's work. And when I want to work on it, I open this file in the morning. It updates automatically to the latest. The only thing you've got to be careful of is you do have to be connected to the internet. I'd like to thank you for watching. And thanks very much, Steve, for coming. You're welcome, John. Bye.